All right, welcome yep. back. And Dr. Rami Patel joining us this morning with our monthly cancer update. He has some good news for patients struggling with several different kinds of cancer this morning. Dr. Patel, good to see you as always. Same year, Thank buddy. you for being Same here. Year. So first, let's talk about breast cancer. You have some updates on how breast cancer patients can reduce side effects while undergoing radiation. Yeah, you know, uh, one of the difficult things for breast cancer is when they remove the tumor, and you don't have to remove the whole breast, right. but when you have the lumpectomy, you need to go through radiation. And sometimes it's a difficult thing. People have to get uh, other support systems to bring them for radiation. So reducing the radiation time uh, really helps them. And this new study shows that we can deliver radiation for certain breast cancer patients in a shorter span of time by giving what is called a boost, which is a targeted treatment to the breast, reduces the radiation time, equally effective results, wow. and convenient for the patients. They don't have to stay away from their families for much long time. That's, that's good because we know those treatments can, can really be brutal. What is the latest on genetic mutations in lung cancer and the new drugs targeting those mutations? You know, the interesting thing about cancer is that uh, there's a constant search for new mutations to identify and then target. And fortunately in lung cancer, about 12% of the patients have a mutation which is called G12C. The name is not important, but those 12% of the patients have now an option of a new drug which can target that specific gene. So very exciting okay. news. And anytime lung cancer patients are seen, we can do a variety of genetic testing on them just on the sample of their blood or their tissue okay. and then identify a target. And this is a new target for that particular cancer. And when you target that gene, what happens? What does that do for the patient? Basically, uh, that's a very good question. You know, in the past, what used to happen was you threw a bomb and hoped the bad guys died mm. and the good guys lived. Right. This only goes for the bad guys. So the targeted drugs which attack the gene have very few side effects than traditional okay. chemotherapy. Hair loss, That's nausea, fantastic. vomiting are much less. That's fantastic. All right, and then finally here, new hope for patients with advanced ovarian cancer. Yes, so uh, ovarian cancer, one of the things which happens is that patients who have advanced ovarian cancer, if they have a good response, and they have a BRCA mutation, again genetics, they were placed on a drug which targets the BRCA mutation. Mm -hmm. But they found out now that the same drug can be used in ovarian cancer patients who don't have mutations. So putting them on this particular drug after they have had their therapy, if they had metastatic cancer, and you keep them on this drug, it prolongs their life. So the difference is you don't have to have the genetic mutation and you still benefit with prolonging your life. Oh, that's fantastic news. Yeah. Dr. Patel, thank you for coming in this thank morning. Thank you. We appreciate it as always. Same year.